Android apps can easily access your clipboard and in today's video I'll be showing you how to list all of the applications with this permission while also giving you an ADB command that can prevent it from happening again. There have been many news reports of apps like TikTok spying on your clipboard contents and logging your keystrokes with its in-app browser. These features are built into Android and can be useful for some applications, but there are times when you know this isn't needed at all. I just got done reading a post on the Android subreddit talking about the MX Player app accessing the clipboard each time it is opened. Accessing the clipboard when the user is pasting something is one thing, but accessing it each time the app is opened is an invasion of privacy and shouldn't be allowed. Sadly, there isn't a user-facing way of blocking access to your clipboard on Android, but we can do this with a simple ADB command. If you don't have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll include a link to an easy tool from an XDA forum member that will install the required files for it to work. Not only that, but it can also add a desktop shortcut that will open up the command prompt in the correct directory so that you can immediately begin executing ADB commands. We also need to enable USB debugging mode on your smartphone or tablet. If you aren't sure of how this is done, you'll find this toggle within the hidden developer options menu, which is revealed after you enable developer mode. And I'll have a link to these two tutorials in the video description as well. With all of that done, let's go ahead and connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable and check to see if ADB can recognize your device. So I have opened up a command prompt within the same folder as my ADB and Fastboot tools. And we can check to see if ADB can recognize our connected smartphone or tablet by typing out the command ADB space devices. Now if this is the first time that you have run this command and the first time that you have enabled USB debugging mode access, you will not see a response like this that shows the serial number and then the word device. Instead, you will get a prompt on your smartphone or tablet asking you to allow USB debugging mode access. It's only after you allow access on the device itself that typing out this command will result in your serial number being put out along with the word device. So once you can see that ADB is able to connect to your device, we then need to drop into an ADB shell from the command prompt. And we do that by typing out ADB space shell and pressing enter. This should still keep you at a command prompt with a blinking cursor, but instead of the usual prompt, you're going to see the code name for your device itself. Now I want to show you a command that you can use that will list all of the apps that have access to your clipboard. So we type out cmd space app ops space query dash op space dash dash user zero read underscore clipboard all in capital letters space allow. And when we press enter, you should see a number of different apps that have access to your clipboard. The apps in this list may not seem familiar to you, 
since it's actually listing the application package name instead of the app name itself. But we actually need the package name in order to block access to the clipboard on Android. So one way that we can find the package name is by executing that command. And I'll have this command listed in the video description below for those who just want to copy and paste it into the command prompt. But we can also get the package name for an application on your device by installing an app package name viewer from the Google Play Store. This will list things in a much more user-friendly way. And again, I'll include a link to an app package name viewer that I recommend in the video description as well. Either way, we need to grab the package name for the app that we want to block access to. So if we had TikTok in this list and we wanted to block that app from accessing our clipboard, we would find the application package name here. Or again, we could find it in that third party app from the Google Play Store. In today's example, I'm actually just going to be blocking Amazon from accessing the clipboard. So we'll get, we're going to use this package name in today's demonstration. So once you have the package name for the app you want to block, we then need to type out the command cmd space app ops space set space. And now we're going to type out that package name. So in this example, it's going to be com dot amazon dot m shop dot android dot shopping but again this package name could be any package name for an application that you have on your device after that package name we're going to do the read clipboard phrase again in all capital letters and then we're going to type out a space after it and then the word ignore. We're going to press enter. And if you get an error message in response here, that means something went wrong and likely you typed out this command incorrectly. But if you don't get any response after executing this command, like it shows here, then that means it worked properly. You can even test to make sure this worked by opening up the application and trying to do a long press gesture to see if the paste command appears, which as you can see does not pop up. We can even attempt to paste something if that pop up appeared and it should demonstrate that the application cannot access the clipboard so it cannot paste anything in the app. I hope this helped anyone who is worried about an Android application accessing their clipboard for no reason. I do wish Google would block this type of access by default or block it unless the user specifically taps the paste button or at least includes a user facing way to toggle off access from within the settings app. It's sad to see applications abusing these permissions on Android, but at least there's a way for you to control this with the help of ADB without needing to have root access to the smartphone or tablet.